The U.S. and Europe's economy showing a divergence. U.S. businesses reporting a contraction in activity in January, signaling a slowdown in momentum, while Europe apparently starting to stabilize. The first read of the U.S. fourth quarter GDP is out tomorrow morning, and economists are expecting that the economy grew by 2.6 percent annualized last quarter. Joining us right now is former Reagan economic advisor and the author of Taxes Have Consequences. Author Art Laffer is here. Art, great to see you. It's a pleasure, Maria. You guys are having way too much fun yeah, on that set. I wish I were there. We're having fun even while we talk about the potential for a recession. Uh, it looks like I, more I optimism out there. Do you still expect a recession this year? Well, I expect a slowdown, this continued slowdown. You know, we've been slowing down for since for 25 years, Maria, whether it's participation rates or real GDP per adult detrended, or whether you look at the debt what's happening to the Fed balance sheet. It's just been a long decline. We need to have a major political change in policies, really a reversal like Reagan had to really bring this economy back into full strength. And that's just not in the cards, at least not in the near term. All right, hi, James Freeman here. When you think about what could be a similar kind of revolutionary positive development, I feel like, at least on the corporate tax end, we're in pretty good shape, and it probably would be a tough time to get a tax cut uh, to all the way to a signature from the president. Do you think uh, there's a deregulation opportunity? I mean, if you were advising uh, House Republicans on what ideas they should be pushing to try and get growth moving, what would it be? Yeah, James, two things. Number one, it is amazing to me that Biden has not overturned the Trump tax cuts because they are really, really working. Revenues are way up, not down like they said they'd be. The jobs, creations, output, revenues, all of that. The Trump tax cut was really magnificent. Uh, if I were looking forward as a Republican going to what we should push, I think medical transparency has the biggest bang for, per buck of anything in the arena. You know, we've had a huge decline in U.S. Uh, life expectancy relative to the Eurozone. We've had a huge increase in costs relative to the Eurozone, all because we have no idea what prices are, what the outcomes are, or any of that. That's where I'd push. I Trump did an executive order requiring hospitals and medical facilities to put out prices. So did Biden. Biden did not eliminate Trump's order, put in his own. So there seems to be a lot of unanimity, and it has huge impact on the U.S. economy and on actual people's lives. Lives, James. Well, it's also going to have a huge impact on the debt. Shouldn't we have real transparency in terms of what stuff costs so that we understand what to spend and how to identify places to pull back, given the $31.4 trillion hey. debt? But, but, Art, President Biden is claiming that Republicans could ruin the economy. Uh, this happened in his first meeting with Democrat oh. congressional leadership in, in the new Congress. Watch this. We also want to talk about uh, uh, the extreme Republican economic plans. Uh, apparently, they're generally serious about uh, cutting Social Security, cutting Medicare. And uh, I love their 30 percent sales tax. Um, that will, I, I, we want to talk a lot about that. Um, but look, I have no intention of letting the Republicans wreck our economy, nor does anybody around this table, in my view. Um, Art, wreck our economy, no mention yeah. of the five trillion plus that the Democrats borrowed in just two years on Joe Biden's watch. Yeah, he's just throwing out red herrings, uh, Maria. That's all he's doing. It's political claptrap, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, what the Republicans really want to do is get some sort of semblance of controlling spending. That's what they'd like to do. Now, some of them want a 23 percent sales tax. Some of them want to do other things. But in general, all they want to do is just bring spending down to make it more in conformity with the tax revenues to keep that debt from soaring. All right, Art. Great to get your take on all of that. Thanks so much, Art Laffer.